Uh, welcome to this tutorial. This is a request from a subscriber. The valve is called stop and waste valve. The valve, as you can see in these uh, source pictures, is made out of a few parts. A cap. This is a three-quarter inch sort of uh, valve. I will not be making the inside. It has a drain cap on the outside. And this whole piece here is all one piece. We will be making the top, the wheel, uh, and the rest on the next tutorial. Here's a finished model, as you can see how the pieces are put together. Okay, start by setting your units to millimeters. Make sure here and here, both of them are set in millimeters. Some keyboard shortcuts that I use most often, W is to select and move, E is to select and rotate, R is to select a, a uniform scale, S turns on and off snaps. And let's say, for example, you're also working on a model. Instead of going through this list to use any of these modifiers, just click on this button and open. This will show you your modifier sets. Once you click on show buttons, it will show up here in case you don't have it already. You can also set your own and configure your own sets by dragging and dropping on the list here. You can rearrange them any way you want. And when you're done and you save it, they will show up over here. Okay, let's start with the sphere. On keyboard entry, you can type the radius, 32 and create. Notice that it has 32 segments. Convert it to an editable poly and select these polygons on the top and remove them. Now select the border on the top and shift drag to extend it. Unselect it and apply symmetry. When you apply symmetry you can combine a few things like rotate, angle snap and symmetry mirror here. Give it, do it in the right direction and you will get this. Add symmetry again on top of this one and you should have this basic shape of the uh, valve. Now we just have to edit some of these quads. Convert it to an editable poly. Some of these vertices are pretty close to each other so we can use weld to weld them automatically move this number and notice the difference between the before and after. Then select some of these edges and delete them. Control backspace is the best way to do it. Add some swift loops to create uh, sharper edges in some areas like here. If you press shift while you're doing this, then it maintains the curvature of the object. Select these vertices and move them back and also move them up a little bit. This will create sort of a crease in this area. We can check the results applying Turbo Smooth temporarily. So we need to do it on both sides. Go back here to Editable Poly and select the back side of this object and remove them. Then we can apply symmetry again on the right side and you will complete front and back. Convert it to an Editable Poly. And let's add this piece for the drain cap. Draw an eight-sided end gun on the front view and place it in front of the pipe about this area. The radius is 8.3 millimeters. Needs to be just a little bit closer to it. Notice how I align these edges here, these vertices, just to make it a little easier. I'm going to use this as a guide so I can 
trace the lines on the uh, valve. So select the valve and use cut and trace those lines. Notice that I will go to the vertices in some places because it's just that close already. Now select these polygons and delete them. I'm going to select the border and shift drag out a little bit a couple of times. Once here and again. And then you can use make planar on the Y axis to flatten this face. Now I apply turbo smooth to check. Notice I always go back to the edit poly, not the turbo smooth. I don't work on the turbo smooth. But here I will leave it there. Now to add this piece here, the drain cap, you can see the reference image. I will try to make it look like that using the start method. I don't really know the right size of this, so I'm going to just eyeball it. The idea is that it has to fit over the opening. Make the interpolation zero. The radius, as you can see, the, there's two radiuses. One for the inside, one for the outside of this shape. When you're done, you can apply extrude. The number I just chose 40 for, the, for this. Let's add some thickness to the valve openings now. Select the valve and select the borders and shift drag towards the inside. Move this to cover it. And that's, that's all you have to do for the uh, drain cap. Okay, to model this piece, we're going to use a six-sided end gun. I'll place it on top, and I will type 15 for the radius. And six sides. I will place that on top and in the center of the valve. Somewhere here is fine. Convert it to an editable spline, not to an editable polygon, a spline, and select all the segments and divide them into four. Here's the divide, type four, and click on divide. We will need all these segments. You will see why. Extrude it about 13 millimeters high. Convert it to an editable poly. Remove the bottom polygon and select the border at the bottom. And then extend it using shift drag. Move it down and then make it wider again. I'm using the shortcuts as you can see. Apply spheri Spherify to this border while it's selected. Convert it to an editable poly. Select that border and extend it again. Now we can select this edge here, loop, and apply a chamfer. To create the nut looking here, you have to select these vertices and then move them up slowly just to create that curve edge of, a, of the nut. When I select these, I'm selecting the back ones too. Now let's work on the inside. Select this polygon and inset. Select the vertices and apply make planar. So they all level on the horizontal. On the front view, you can see that. Select this border again and apply Spherify. Convert it to an editable poly. Now select the border again and extend it a few, a few times. We're going to try to create the idea of a threaded area here. I'm just guessing the size, so we're almost done. 
to make these edges sharper, you can add some swift loops. Mm, yeah, you may have to refer to to some source to see how sharp these are. When you're done, we can apply Turbo Smooth to check if the overall looks are acceptable. So here is on Turbo Smooth. So that's it for this area. You can watch the other tutorial on part two and I will do the top part, the knob handle, and the nuts and bolts. And also I will do the materials. Thank you for watching.